friends, my name is Amy Rebecca and welcome back to another Manifestation Monday video where we get together once a month to talk about all things Law of Attraction and Manifestation. Tuning in more to my spiritual side is just one thing that I've introduced into my life recently to try and like reset, regroup and build a better, happier life for myself. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then why not go ahead and subscribe? I'm actually trying to manifest 20,000 subscribers, so if you could help me with that, that would be much appreciated. Okay, cool, my camera died, but I'm back! So like I said last month, I am still pretty new to the law of attraction and this whole manifestation world. I'm still really trying to get to grips with it and we're going through this journey together. But I thought that maybe for today's video, it might be interesting to talk about this whole idea of vibrating at a certain frequency to attract the things you want. Look, the law of attraction, I said this last month, it just makes sense to me. Something about it just feels right to me. I can just sit well with the idea that the more you think good things will happen to you, the more good things will happen to you. Or at least you'll be more open to receive those good things when they kind of like come into your life. You know what I mean? But there are some aspects of the law of attraction that I find very difficult to understand and get on board with because they seem so far removed from reality. And one of these ideas was that you need to vibrate at a certain frequency to match the frequency of the things you want so that they'll come to you quicker. Yeah, I just didn't get it. But then this month, I feel like I finally had some experience of that and I finally worked out what the heck that meant. And this is just my own personal interpretation, so make of it what you will. But let's talk about what I experienced this month. So one of the things that I have been trying to manifest into my life is a regular form of income. As a lot of you know, I gave up my job right at the worst possible time in the history of the world to give up a job during a global pandemic. It's a whole story, we're not, we're not. But since then, I've been trying to, you know, think of ways that I can get a regular income coming in. And you guys know I recently launched a course online, I've got an Etsy shop, like I'm working my butt off. And the more that I was using positive affirmations and meditating and just really getting into this mindset that yes, I'm going to be okay, money is coming to me, it's on the way, I'm not gonna struggle, and I really started to believe it. It just filled me with this joy and excitement, and then it was so self-perpetuating. It felt like the more that I was just excited and expectant for all these great things to happen to me, more great things started happening to me. Over the course of one week, I launched my online course and had people who were really excited and enthusiastic to buy it. I had, I won money on the premium bonds. I don't know if you guys have that where you live, but it's a way where you can invest your money and it's like a lottery each month, but you, like, they, they don't charge you for it. It's just, I don't know how it works, but I won on the premium bonds. I had the biggest order ever on my Etsy store, which I was really excited about. And then I was sitting out in the garden. All of this was happening and it was just fueling this feeling of, yes, everything is going well, everything is okay, money keeps coming to me, it's gonna be a success. And my mom came out with a letter for me. You may have seen this on my Instagram stories, but I looked at her and I said, oh, is that a letter from someone telling me they're gonna give me more money? And she rolled her eyes and laughed and I opened the envelope and it was a letter from somebody telling me that they were gonna give me more money. I have been a member of the Amazon Affiliates Program for uh, like years. Every now and then if I buy something on Amazon and recommend it to you guys, I leave an affiliate link in the description box. Yeah, so you guys know at this point I'm not salesy about things. If I'm recommending something and I have an affiliate link, I'll use it, but I'm not like a big affiliate link person and for that reason in the probably four plus years that I've been a member of the program I've never made any money and then all of a sudden I get this letter from Amazon saying we're uh, we're depositing your affiliate payments to you yeah and it's like the more that these things kept happening the more that I believed these things could happen and the more confidence I had in myself and I think the more confidence I had in myself the more I was willing to put myself out there and it was just on a roll and I've experienced this before without realizing it when I lived in Bahrain 
I was like at a constant level like up here of just happiness, joy, contentment, belief that every day was an adventure and I think because I was full of all of those feelings it just brought more happiness and joy and adventure. You know I used to wake up every day and think I wonder what amazing thing is going to happen to me today. I am so grateful for everything that I have. Like my life is more than I ever could have dreamed of. And I think living in that, call it whatever you want, like positive mindset, high vibration frequency, whatever, just made life so much more enjoyable. And yes, a lot of that was also down to circumstances. I had a job that I loved, an apartment that I loved, a really awesome fiance, good friends. It was literally sun was shining every day. But I think this is the thing. This is the key. This is the challenge. If when things are not going so well in like your external life and you are still able to hold on to that mindset of self-belief and gratitude and just believing that everything is going to be okay, then you can still have that same level of happiness even when things aren't going so well. If your happiness comes from within, no one can take it away. It's not going anywhere. This is deep and I haven't finished my first coffee of the morning yet, so. So the big question now is like, well, how do we get there? How do we get to be up here, vibrating at whatever frequency it is that people want to vibrate at? You know what I mean? Like, how do you be happier? I can tell you how I have started to get there. I have been making a list of 10 things I am grateful for every night before I go to sleep. I write them down in my manifestation journal and then I read them back and say them out loud and say thank you after each one. And no matter how crappy my day has been, just doing that does fill me with gratitude and does make me very thankful and does lift my spirits. Another thing is using positive affirmations. I love a positive affirmation, okay? One that I've been using a lot recently is I deserve to be happy. And that really seems to be working out for me. And another thing that I think really helps but is really difficult to do is to try not to engage with those negative self beliefs and those negative thoughts that creep in. And yeah, that's, it's hard. That's where your positive affirmations come in. Once you start to worry and think, oh no, that's never gonna happen for me. Oh no, I couldn't possibly do that. You just say, no, I am enough. I deserve to be happy. I'm a badass. And 100%, I don't think, unless you are a master of your own mind, that this is going to be like an overnight fix. Like all of a sudden you wake up tomorrow and you manifest everything into your life, just boom, bash, bosh. Boom. But I really think that by using those three tools, gratitude, positive affirmations, and trying to separate yourself from those negative thoughts and those negative self-beliefs, you will raise, raise your vibration. Fine, we're saying it, you'll raise your vibration, but you'll feel better. You'll be in a much better headspace, a much better mindset, and positive things will come to you more easily. That has been my experience for the month. I would say it's definitely been a really positive month for me in terms of manifestation. Got a little bit rocky towards the end and here is one thing I will finish off by saying is that just because you manage to work your way up to this positive mindset does not mean you just live up here like rent free forever now. Like it doesn't work that way. And just as those positive thoughts are self-perpetuating negative thoughts are self-perpetuating and once you start to focus in on those they can drag you back down really quickly and that's what happened to me towards the end of the month and now I'm like aware of it I see it and I'm thinking no I don't want to live down here anymore I want to be up here I want to be manifesting more amazing things into my life and to do that you need to get into the right mindset so I hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and let me know any manifestation law of attraction tips that you guys know, anything that you would like to share, any success stories, love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments section down below. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that you are enough just as you are and I love you and I will see you next time. Bye!